Hello, thank you for watching. This is Dr. Octopus from Mexico once more. Uh, perhaps this time I should introduce myself as Dr. Avila or Dr. Avila, that's my surname. I do this because hopefully it will be useful for other colleague neurosurgeons one day. And I say hopefully because there are several ways to train and I found this method outstanding for the use of the drill. We never know. Don't forget to protect your nose, mouth and eyes from recent dust, as you will see it's a fine as chalk powder and if you inhale it, indeed, every particle you, in you inhale is potentially harmful for your lungs. And God knows, if you are going to, to start your training with a low quality sheet, I mean a piracy from Far East, nothing personal, but once I bought it and just for the smell I thought this may cause cancer. I'm not uh, pulling your leg, so uh, try not to damage yourself too much and wear an appropriate mask. Second, we use loops for surgery and they increase the size of the objects many times. In the case of mine, they are adapted for 3.5x, which means you see things 3.5 times larger than with naked eye. And they've got the focal distance of 40 cm, which means that 40 cm away, you see things 3. Point times uh, bigger as usual. Is that concept clear? Well, I simply love them. It will also prevent your eyes from having contact with resin dust, at least partially. I would strongly suggest you to buy them if you want to take uh, uh, things to a whole new level. However, it's not necessary, it's up to you. For this video in particular, I did not use them because uh, my mobile was on the way. So don't worry if you can get them, you will see how amazing things uh, can result even without the loops. The drill. I love Dremel with extension. You can use any type uh, that you like. I recommend this option because you can grab it more easily and your moves uh, will, will be more accurate. Besides, um, it won't make uh, your hand tremble due to the mechanical isolation via this steel cable. I've been a while working on this and uh, it's the best option I could find. At first, uh, we will only use this tip, which is not for sanding, carving or engraving. It's just uh, for making burr holes. And to know 10,000 things, no one will first. So here we go. I chose for this tutorial a few amazing heads. As you can see, I, I picked Tiberius, the, the Red Wake, and Captain Kirby from the Raven Guard. And uh, let me show you what we intend to make at the end of this tutorial. I think they will match very well. Amazing, isn't it? The first rule of all is this one. You shall know no fear. I'm not joking, I'm being serious. Uh, it has to be like that. If not, uh, why is the name of this tutorial uh, drill like a fucking neurosurgeon? It's not like uh, you will be able to perform neurosurgery of, at the end of this video. But my point is, I know that you paid a lot of money for each model and that you will be whining if you, if you do it wrong. Because uh, things can always go wrong. At least, a mistake here won't cost any life. In neurosurgery, it could end in a, in a catastrophe. I'm referring to patient's life or functional outcome. It's a living being what's in your hands. So, failure is not an option. That's exactly how it all started. I needed a place to make all possible mistakes. I've been training for many years, but one day um, I noticed I had mastered the use of the drill. It's not like I'm the best neurosurgeon in the world. I'm not even a neurosurgeon yet, I'm still a resident. And uh, you must understand that there is uh, more than one path to the top of the mountain. What I intend to teach is, is my experience. You will find other ways and perhaps better ones to, to do what, I, what I'm doing right now. In my medical branch, it's not like you buy a replacement. Everything has got to be Perfect, you will seek perfection at all moments. A thousand days of training to develop, 10,000 days of training to polish. It might seem difficult, but everything is difficult at first, so be patient. Second rule, no hesitation, no surprise, no doubt. A neurosurgeon has no confusion in his mind. This is the true emptiness. You will learn to keep your hands steady at all time. You cannot shiver, you cannot hesitate. Before you start to drill, you've got to have a plan in your mind. Otherwise, you'd better not start, and you will ruin whatever you are attempting to do. Your mind must be clear. You need to concentrate on what you're doing. While drilling, it's important to see distant things as if they were close, and to take a distance view of close things. That means never lose perspective from the whole and don't miss any detail. Perceive that which cannot be seen with the eye. With time, you will be guided not only by your eyes, but your ears and hands will be as useful as your sight. In conclusion, if you want to drill like a neurosurgeon, first you have to think like, like one. I thought that would be pointless to describe what, what, what I'm doing because you're watching.
I would be glad if you could send me your work at home um, along with your name and nationality so I could show them in following videos. I think that uh, would be awesome. So please leave comments and suggestions about the format, uh, content or whatever you agree or disagree. As many of you know, this is my first tutorial and I hope it to be the first of many so you can master the manual drills someday. So um, see you next week.